Hello everyone, this is Admiral Blairowski bringing you the Hood. Battlecruiser Hood. But alongside that, mission number 37 of the Kriegsmarine campaign. You know, just as a little add-on. Oh my goodness me, wow. The Nelson class, and we have a submarine as well. Uh, I'm going to have to get a destroyer to deal with the Triton here then. Which destroyer should we get? I mean, we've got plenty of renown to play around with. Wow. Um, let's have a look. What's the... So this is... These are auxiliary cruisers. Where are the destroyers? There they are. Is that only six torpedoes? No, it's it's eight. Six thousand, six thousand, six thousand four hundred, six thousand seven hundred, six thousand seven hundred, um, six four, and then we've got a torpedo boat here. Hmm. So let's have a look. Five five-inch guns and. 8 torpedoes, 36.5 knots top speed. 5 5.9 inch guns, 37.5 knots top speed, and 8 torpedoes as well. Are they both the same price? They are, aren't they? Hmm. Um, are they the same weight as well? Well, I don't get it then, so... Literally the same in every single respect. Hmm. Which one do I get then? Um... I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Ah. Uh, Because there's literally no telling them apart. Five five point nine inch guns, five five point nines, twenty six hundred tons, twenty six hundred tons, thirty seven and a half knots, thirty seven and a half knots, eight torpedo tubes, eight torpedo tubes, six hundred five point nine inch shells, yeah, six hundred five point nine inch. There's literally no telling them apart. Ugh. <sighs> Fine, I'll get this at thirty one. But the only reason I'm getting the Z31 is because it, it it's it just sounds a little bit more sort of, you know, like a mob destroyer like that. Just, you know, it, it sounds better. Uh, right, well, and the British have the initiative as well. If they put the submarine at point-blank range, I won't be happy about that. But here we go. Alright, that's a good start then. We've got our best ships out here. Yeah, Rodney opens up with a broadside. Oh, give up! And they've scored hits straight away as well. Here's the thing I'm really worried about. Triton, no action. Right, where is the Triton? Well, that's helpful. I can't even see the Triton. So, well, no, I don't care how long this takes. I need to get exact location on the Triton. I don't care what you think. I need an accurate... Oh, well, that was surprisingly quick. Um, so the Triton is over here, then. Um... Right, and then the Nelsons are... Where are the Nelsons? They're over here, aren't they? They're over here. So I reckon then, if we get up to flank and we do a slight turn, just so we can get those 
guns in. Oh. We're... No, 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 we're not... No. No, not, not for a submarine, no. What we'll do then, the Hutton is further away, clearly, so we'll have... Berlusian can go for the Nelson. Not sure how to, how much to crack for the wind. It's a wind that's going pretty much straight from right to left, but it's a red, pink-ish colour, so I'm not too sure. I'll just put it in the middle and hope for the best. 15.8 is suggested. Let's go to 15.7. Open fire. Fire. Go on. Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad. And then the Hutton, obviously, the one that's damaged already, right from the get-go. Um, yeah, you go to flank as well. You also do a little turn. Just minuscule, minuscule turn here. Uh, and you're going to go for the... The Rodney? Yeah, it has, it has to be the Rodney, yeah. So we've got the correction on point, pretty much. Um, 13.6 suggested, we'll go 13... Oh, I'll go 13.3. Fire! Short. But now, we've got a new ship. Z31. We'll have her swing around and go and hunt down the Triton. Turning in. Oh, yeah, of course. Ah! Alright, that's... Ugh. The campaign is getting really tough at this point. I'm just going to put it out there and say it's things are getting really tough. Alright, so we can have these continue on as they are. Because I think that they're too far away from the Triton for her to fire. I mean, she might be able to fire, but she doesn't want to fire. So, you know, hold your course and speed. Um, and yeah, that should be should be enough to keep us out of danger. Fire. Good. Good. That's also fine. Right, let's get the Hudson firing as well. Thirteen three was a little bit short. We'll go up to thirteen seven. Fire. There you go. Good. That's a nice big explosion there. I think so. Keep you going. Good. Now we'll have to slow down with this ship over here, the Berlusian gun, just for the destroyer to pass through. Good. I like it when you have secondary explosions. No, oh, yeah, 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 whatever. You set a fire. Ha, ha, ha. Very clever. Good. And they're short. Triton, no action. Right, Berlusian gun. This is the one that's slowing down, correct? Correct. Right, let's have you go back for one turn. Just to let the destroyer sneak past. After that, we can get you back up to flank. We can get you flanking about all over the place. Right, put the guns about here. 15-4 was very nice. Uh, let's say 15 exactly then. Fire! Imagine a 15 one would have been better. No, 15 would have been worse, actually. Move the Hutton out of the way. Uh, let's put your guns right over here. 
13-7, you scored some good hits. We'll go to 13-6 and fire. Good. It's at 31. Your mission is to now sneak through. You're not going to sneak through, are you? Oh. I mean, we can keep the Berlusian gun in reverse. That's not a problem. Still firing with all three turrets. Good, they're long. That's good. Good. It's a lovely sight. And this is also a lovely sight, yeah. Very nice. Secondary explosion. No hits recorded. Um, yeah, you have to be in reverse, my dear, because you're going to pretty much break this destroyer in two if you decide to ram. And, you know, we don't want crashy-crashy. That's bad. Crashy-crashy bad. I'll put the guns about here this time, because the wind isn't actually super strong. It's kind of manageable, really. Fire. Good. That's fine. You continue onwards, Hutton. Uh, put your guns about here as well. Oh, good. They've put the fire out. Very nice. Good work. Good work. I'm pleased with that. Fire. Go on. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice development, isn't it? Yeah. I like it. Right, now I'm hoping this destroyer will pick up the submarine soon. Is that 31's past 30? So we can get the um, Berlusian gun up to speed. And continuing to fire all three turrets. That's annoying, but as for you, Rodney, whether you like it or not, one of your turrets has been put out of action. Right, let's get you back up to flank. Um, go about here then, maybe? 14-5. We'll go 14. Fire. Go, go, go. That's good. Let's move you along. Oh, I'm gonna get away. You're not gonna get away. Thirteen degrees was there. Let's go twelve eight. Fire. There we go. Good. I like that. That's nice. I've obliterated the superstructure and here we go we now have a sonar contact mm, it's, it's been a while since we've actually encountered a submarine this will be kind of refreshing i guess i'll want to be seeing of course if um if i still have it within me to deal with sub successfully because it's mostly been it's pretty much exclusively been um um surface combat that's interesting. 14, let's go down to 13, 7, fire. I don't care if you're making smoke. There we go, that's good. That's another turret knocked out. And we have six turrets in total to knock out for these ships, and we've knocked out, I think it's two of them now. Not intentionally going for the turrets, it's just, you know... It's just, it's a, it's a bonus if we get it. Fire. Yeah, that's fine. And then you, my dear, can go here. 6,656. Now they're still trying to get away. That's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> you think you're so tough. Well, <laughs> no, you're not, actually. LOL. 
you might look really tough, but actually you're not quite as tough as that. 13-7, let's go to 13-4. Fire! Good. I like the look of that. Many 16-inch shells finding their mark, causing a big explosion on the enemy ship. That's good. 12-8. Are they trying to get away? Let's just check the map again. 12-8, 12-8. Alright, we'll go to 12-9. 13. Fire. Go on. Good. And we've got a Triton. We're closing in quickly at 37 knots now. Almost top speed. We're going to turn on the next turn to fire. Really, star shell, of course, yeah. I mean, I get it that my ships are really pretty. They're beautiful to look at. But, you know, it's it's not really something you want to be doing now. You don't have time to admire my ships. That's kind of the message here. But, yeah, fine, if you, if you really want to, if you, you know, if you... You want to admire my ships? That's fine. We're not going to stop firing at you, but you know, it's it's your your choice, I guess. Good. Uh huh. Five point three knots for the Rodney. Well. Hopefully we'll take that even lower than it is already. We'll go 12-9. Fire. There we go. Good. That's another turret knocked out. And now harder starboard for this destroyer. You're going to put some torpedoes in the water, my friend. So let's put the torpedo about here. And there we go. And that should deal with the sub. Another star shell. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Yeah, you're not going to get anywhere with the star shell, my friend. You're not going to get anywhere. A oh, one turret left on the Rodney. Are you saying you want me to destroy that turret as well? I think they kind of are, to be honest. Go on. What? It's not hit it? Oh, for goodness sake. It was supposed to hit. It always hits after two turns, especially at 4,100. Anyway. 13-2. Getting a little bit closer, actually. We'll go 13, exactly. Fire. And there we go, and that's good. Uh, let's go about here. 12-9. Should be fine, I think. Fire. There we go, go on. Good, we've destroyed the turret, we've destroyed the ship. Yeah, not bad at all. <sighs> well, I didn't predict that that would happen. We're not going to hit that sub, obviously, now. So, 0.6, 9.7, we'll say 9.6 then. So, if we put one here and... 8.6 as well there. I know this is a lot of torpedoes I'm wasting, but I expected that other one to hit. I fully expected it to hit. No! Stay away from that D turret. You're not allowed to touch the turrets. Oh, so now we get the hit. 
I'm so confused by that. I am so confused. 4,100, and it takes more than two turns to reach the, the target. 4,200, and it, it reaches it on the second turn. I'm genuinely confused by that. I am confusion. Fusion confusion is what I am when I get results like that. It's a good result. I don't doubt it. But yeah. It is what it is. Right, now you, my friend, have actually sunk your ship. The Rodney over here. All three turrets destroyed. Good, good, good. Propulsion has been hit though, hasn't it? Why are we not going quicker than this then? Oh, are we flooded that badly? No, surely not, right? We're not. Unless they're gonna, we're gonna jump up now. Ah, yeah, it must have been damaged before then. Yeah, that would explain it then. Right. Yeah, just keep the same elevation, actually. Just see whether the same elevation leads you to. Fire. And then we've got something to work with from there. Nope, that's possibly an underwater hit, but no. Um, I guess you can just make smoke and disengage, because you've done your job. I was thinking maybe we could need the destroyer to go in for a torpedo run, but oh my goodness. Not with their, um, not with how they're looking right now. They're pretty much gone as anyway. And we've got two battleships ready to um, focus their fire on um, on the one remaining ship. Oh, we've got the steering damaged, and but propulsion no. All right, that's that's um, that's fine. I mean, we're we're, we're not really interested in steering much, but. All right. We'd rather have it operational than not operational. And there we go. There goes the Nelson. Yeah, you can just about see the Rodney sinking here. There we go. Um. Yeah, we're not going to watch them sink because they're taking a little bit too long. So, action report. On the British side, the battleships Nelson and Rodney were sunk for 34,000 tons each, and the submarine Triton was sunk for 1,600 tons. On the German side, the battleship Berlichingen received light damage, battleship Hudson received medium damage, and the destroyer Z31 received no damage. Three stars, 69,600 tons sunk, 69,600 renown earned. And that is all from Adam Playerovsky for this video. If you enjoy the content I put out, leave a like and subscribe. Any suggestions for a custom battle, drop those below and I'll get right to them. Um, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.